So far we've been typing in whole numbers in MATLAB, however you can also enter numbers with decimal places or negative numbers by starting the number with a minus sign. You can also enter text into MATLAB. To do so, you need to enclose the text in single quotes or apostrophes. Notice that when you start a text, MATLAB will display the text in a different color. And when you close the text with the second apostrophe, the color will change. Finally, MATLAB has a few universal constants built in. The one that you might find useful is the constant pi. To use the constant pi, you can just simply type in pi in your command window. Notice that when I do so, the value is returned in the variable ands. To use pi in a computation, you can simply type out its name. So for example, if we wanted to do 2 times pi, we would go 2 star pi. You can enter very large or very small numbers in MATLAB using scientific notation. Scientific notation, the exponent is entered using the letter E. So for example, let's say we have 15 by 10 to the minus 3. In scientific notation, this would be written as 15 E to the minus 3. So switching over quickly to MATLAB, let's say I wanted to enter that number into MATLAB, I would type in 15 E to the minus 3. We can see that that is the value that we get.